Hey, what's going on my dudes? It's the 4th of April and I should not be going out right now, but I have some regrets. You guys, uh, if you watched the last video, which I uploaded the other day, I found all the holothon stuff and I passed on one figure that I totally regret passing on and it's the uh, NECA Bear Blood Feral Predator. I saw a review on it. Uh, earlier today and it looks so freaking good out of box so yeah I shouldn't be going out because I'm pretty sure I have a case of listeria it's a bacteria infection um, yeah first time hearing about it did some research the other day because of symptoms I was having um, I'm pretty sure I got it from a, a bad hot dog at a uh, Sam's Club um, but not 100% sure but yeah, hopefully we could find it again. It sucks, but hey, it happens. But I figured, you know, I could show y'all some content at the same time. So, uh, you know, in a way, it's a win-win situation. Um, so, let's hope for the best. Let's go check it out. Alright, first target of the day. Hopefully they have it so I don't have to stop by anymore. Um, yeah, let's go check it out. Alright, come on. Let me have some deja vu with this holothon stuff. Nah, they don't have it here, unfortunately. Maybe in a different section. Let's see. I got bazooka here, which is weird. He may be on clearance. I already got one with the white suit, with the white uh, t-shirt, which I prefer. Oh, Jordan. Other than that, the same old stuff. Yeah, let's. I don't want to show you all the same stuff that we've been seeing. So let, let's move on. It's not looking good, boys. Yeah. No sign of Hawthorne stuff, of course. <laughs> I should be thankful though, man. At least we came across it the other day. Oh man, look at all these. Yeah, I would love to army build these, but man, $34.99, man. If they had that deal, maybe, this week, but they don't. These are fantastic. Oh, something's wrong with the shelves here, that's why they're all. Scuba diving dude too. Recon diver. Yeah, I may ask an employee. So, man, I got Nightwing. Oh, that's the first time. First time I've seen this Nightwing. Yeah. Nightfall. Never read that, so I have no idea how the story is. Spider shot and less stand Spider Man. Yeah, Iron Man. Alright. Take your hearts. Yeah, I'm gonna have to ask an employee. Page punchers. Shanks. Alright, I just asked an employee. Very nice guy. He's going to the back and checking. So. Oh, I hope he has it. I don't want to go anywhere else. I need to go home and rest. You know what? Let's check out some records while he's checking in the back. No doubt. I like a couple songs from them. I was the same with them, you know? Grabbed this like a month ago. Sublime. Got Drake. Collective Soul. A whole bunch of Taylor Swift, of course. Whoa! Ultimate bear blood. What? Why is this here? Okay, I'm just messing. The guy came back and said this is the last one. Dude, how lucky, man. Oh my gosh. Thank you to the gods or the universe, whomever is looking out. And thank you to the employee, the kind employee that helped me out. Man, so stoked. I'll definitely show how this looks out of box. It's so cool. Like, I haven't been collecting Predator stuff because they have the same mold. But of course, I think this one's a bit different. I could be wrong, but I mean, this is translucent, a translucent one, which they haven't come out in a long time. 
and I checked the review and because it's got that bear blood all over it the paint on it look okay yeah I'll show y'all uh, close to the end of the video but yeah man so freaking stoked need to rewatch this movie all right let's get out of here I swear love toy hunting this is this is modern day treasure hunting man <laughs> Except it does it well. Yeah, you can find stuff that's expensive or whatnot, but you know most of us just like to collect, and it's in a way in a form of a treasure in a sense. All right, I think I said something earlier that implied that I wasn't going to go to any other targets if I found this predator here, but you know what? There's another target close to here, so let's go check it out. All right, come on, deja vu, deja vu moment. Let's go. Oh, they did have some, um, yeah, they got some holothon stuff here. They got the elite guard. Yeah, this must have been here maybe this morning. Because these usually get, I'm pretty sure these are getting taken pretty quickly as well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they had Predator as well. They, they still have the Sinja patrol. Yeah, very nice. Anything else from the Holothon event? Still got Rex here, which is kind of weird. Any two packs from Holothon? Nope. A whole bunch of Tall Thug and Short Gangsters. Grunt and Jersey Red back there. Got this two pack, Robin and Steve. Yeah, looks like that's about it the ET set here man this I bought this full price like I think like 50 bucks online is like 30 bucks now I think I knew it was overpriced but man I had to get it at first and NECA stuff usually don't go down in price but I mean the Dracula figure is now 26 online on the Target app so yeah, it's really really good to see that oh, I'm ready to open up that figure when I get home and uh, put on, you know, I've been rewatching Gen V. You know what's a really good trilogy? Uh, movies, um, yeah, you know what? I'll talk about it later. Okay. Let's put the toy out. Let's see. And this. I've seen these before. Yeah. Aqualad. Animal Man, the Wolverine, and then we got the Recon Diver, we got the Hulk Fist, very fun looking set. If I had kids, I probably would get that. Um, you've seen these Spider-Mans plenty of times, I'm not really interested in them. Alright, I think that's it, my dude. Let's see. That's Masterverse. Battle Armor He Man. Not sure if any of these are new. Hero. That looks cool. That's a cool looking character. Serasmus. Kind of the same old stuff that y'all been seeing. Mouse Jaw. Yeah, it seems like Mouse Jaw is like the most unpopular one out of this raise here. Still got a whole bunch of these. Six packs. I think that's about it, my dudes. Yeah, let's move on. Ooh, Allosaurus. First time seeing this. Yeah, let's move on. I just remember they have another NECA section here as well at this particular target. Let's see what they got. Oh, no way! I totally forgot about this wave. Dude, do they have everybody? Dude, they probably got the chase as well. There's Joker. Man, he looks good. Only a little bit of cell shade, too. Ah, oh, man, I really wish none of these were cell shaded. That's why I passed on the first wave, but I kind of want them. But at the same time, I'm like, yep, there's. Is that the chase? No. I kind of. Yeah, I definitely prefer this one more. Oh, I totally forgot. Okay. I didn't think I'd see these. Is this the chase? No, no chase. Maybe someone took it. Of course, they put another Batman. Oh, man. Yeah, man. 
want these, dude. I regret not getting the first wave, but it's that cell shading. Gosh, why is it gotta be on there? Dude, is this new? That looks sick. Batman Dark Detective. Gold label collection. Man, I've been having some luck in these second NECA sections. <laughs> Figure. This is quite tempting, man. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll think about it. We'd like to get these on a deal. Yeah. It's really nice to see these, though. Very nice surprise. Alright, you know what? Yeah, I don't think I'll give you a closer look at Riddler. Well, well, well. Look who's here. Up to your old tricks already, huh, Nigma? Whatever are you talking about, Batman? The last time you delivered one of these, it almost killed Commissioner Gordon. What's your point? What's in the box? None of your business. These look cool. James Jim Gordon. And Joker. Yeah. All right, let's roll out. I should go home, but I got that hunting fever right now. <laughs> you feel me? Man, so glad I got that predator figure. Um, yeah, really glad to have seen these uh, McFarlane uh, DC figures as well uh, from uh, the animated Batman uh, series. Uh, I decided not to get them. Yeah, I'm just not going to go down that line. Um, I'm, I'm going to continue to get the new adventures. Batman Adventures figures because they're not cell shaded but yeah I just can't I can't stand these cell shaded ones I really can so I'm gonna stick to my guns even though it's tempting man because they look good it just it's just that that cell shading but yeah you know I figured there's a Best Buy here uh, they might have some last Ronin figures and some other cool stuff so let's go check it out um, if you're liking the content please give the video a like I'd appreciate a whole heap oh this Best Buy actually does have like collectible items a lot of uh yeah these are on sale a lot of them are let's check out the price of a, a bigger one here uh mandalorian starfighter members price 47.99 it was 60. interesting 109 was no it's 98 bucks it was 110. oh here we go oh man they have a fair amount I haven't seen this one in a long time. Never seen this, Zed. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, I guess these match really well with the Sinja Patrol. Are they the like, exact same? Hey, I can't tell. But yeah, they got a lot of NECA stuff, man. I'm kind of surprised. I don't think I've seen this one. Yeah, I don't... Have I? I probably have, actually. <laughs> Yeah, this fella's going for 26 on Target on the Target app. Dude, they got DC McFarlane? Man, I'm going to have to stop by this particular Best Buy up more often. $18.99 was $22.99. This one's 30 This is actually a good looking Superman. Holy, he is jacked. Dude, I really like that face sculpt. And it comes with this dog. 30 bucks. Is there a chase for this? Dude, I like this a lot. Oh man, look at that car too, man. That's sick. Yeah, crypto. That's right. Return of Superman. Dude, this looks awesome, man. Look how beefy he looks. Oh man. That's awesome, dude. Let's see what else they have. Yeah, I've never seen this foot. Enforcer, maybe I have. I don't have the last Ronin figures that I'm looking for. Oh, this is behind this. No. No, these are all armored. Last Ronin already got this one. We got another Sinja Patrol bot. Man, I've been seeing a lot of Sinja Patrol bots. I mean, I went to another target yesterday. I didn't record. Um, and they had the Sinja Patrol set. 
Yeah, first time seeing this foot bot. Looks cool. Yeah, I'm just not gonna get everything that's part of the last running. Just the turtles, basically. Master Splinter, Casey. We got some watermelons here. <laughs> Elvira, man, this, this lady's still looking good these days. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get this one right here, dude. That looks so freaking good. I love how beefy he looks, man. I wonder if it's the same um, body mold as the uh, Batman. Uh, damn, which one is it? Uh, the Build a Horse Wave? Damn, why am I forgetting? Batman Returns? On a Dark Knight? They have the Wanderer. I've seen this at a Target once. I haven't seen it since, so. Yeah, it's pretty popular, but yeah, I'm not gonna get that one. I was hoping they had uh, Leo or any of the other brothers. Yeah. I think I may get this one right here. Let me think about it. Oh, another. Uh, we've seen this plenty of times. Yeah. It doesn't seem like many people are buying that set. Some Barbies. Anything over here? Oh, some more NECA. Alpha Predator. $36.99, Phantom Opera, Casey Jones, we got Undertaker, hey, that's a good looking Undertaker, it comes with this extra face gold, the two, it comes with that jacket, very cool man, alright, anything else, let's see what they have over here, some cards, Pokemon cards, a whole bunch of plushies. That's about it, my dudes. Yeah, let's get out of here. All right, it's now the 5th of April, and I'm back out. I should probably be resting and not be moving around too much because I still have this Listeria thing or whatever. Um, I'm feeling much better, though, so that's, that's a good sign. But um, I need to go back out on the hunt. I'm looking for some stuff. I'm still searching for Jada Toys Ken, Dalsim, and Bison, of course, like everyone else. And I want to find those uh, Marvel Platinum um, upper deck cards. Unfortunately, they're sold out everywhere. Uh, those cards look great. Uh, upper deck, I mean, lately, for the last several years, I've been really disliking a lot of the uh, Marvel cards, but this set looks great, so hopefully I can find some to show y'all. Alright, first stop at this Walmart. Unfortunately, they don't have any of the Marvel cards here. I already checked the front. I do have Invisible, Donnie, Casey Jones, Hunchback. Very nice to see. So, most time it targets these go for like 36 something so yeah here at walmart it's a bit cheaper salmon twitch brooklyn you know i wonder if this has the new articulation so i realized um i took out that boar that uh feral predator yesterday and played with it and the articulation is so much better i wonder if you know this has a new mold as well let me know in the comments if you know if so, man, I'll, I'll start picking up uh, Predators again. So I have a good amount, and I used to collect a fair amount, but uh, oh, we got this two pack, nice. We got the brothers here, 60 bucks. I did get this two pack here with Mikey and Leo for 38 bucks at another Walmart. I couldn't find the other brothers, so hopefully I could find them at the same price or cheaper. On that same old stuff so let's move on oh yeah i think i mentioned sometime early in this video that these were sold out everywhere well it looked like they restocked them on um, target.com so keep that in mind so remote control heat ray breath godzilla yeah definitely check out a video of it it's a very cool looking toy we're eventually gonna get it so not that i was about to pick it up but i uh, Google it see if it was available everywhere else. So I'm gonna wait and of course if you use the red card of Target of the Target app then you get a little cheaper 5% off so Let's see Matt Murdock Sam man Okay, nice to see Sam man 
I don't see him that much around here. Ooh, these are on clearance. Yeah, Marvel. Marvel toys are or the X Men ninety seven Marvel Legends are getting taken with the quickness. On that, yeah, these are twelve fifty, nine fifty actually. Sixty dollars for these. I know shipwreck is going for like fourteen at some other Walmart. Twenty five fifty for Mothman. Got plenty of those. Yeah, nothing really new, so. What are these? Beast Lab. Experiment. Creature Beast. Shark Beast Creator? The heck? Wow, that is heavy. Okay, interesting. <laughs> May have to check out a video of that. Oh, they got some of these Batman figures from the um, Fighting the Frozen line. Let's see what's back here. And then Black Lanterns, Superman. A lot of stuff on clearance. Doesn't seem like a lot of stuff that most of us collect. Ooh, is this new? Bat Cycle with Sidecar? That looks flashy. All right, I think that's about it, dude. I've seen all the other stuff many times, so let's move on. Let's check out the clearance section. Let's see, we got this Carnotaur. It's going for 19 bucks. What's what's 34? Okay. Got this Star Wars character, Colin Roken. Forget who he is. Superpowers, six bucks. Oh, we got Batman Who Laughs here. Ten bucks for Evelyn. Evelyn. Super Friends, eighteen bucks. This thing was forty bucks. Interesting. Oh man, we got a lot of McFarlane stuff here. Thirteen bucks for Owl Man. Right, this fella, twenty-one. Oh, anything interesting? Man, a lot of uh, future. State Batmans. Yeah, they're all future State Batman. Holy cow, what the heck? Oh, they got a rebirth one back here. 950, okay. Yeah, half price, not bad, not too shabby. That's it for the toys, yeah. Let's move on. Oh, they also have Peach for 1250. Millions of peaches, peaches for free. Alright, let's get out of here. I zoomed past these, but I noticed some Marvel characters, so let's check out what these are. These go for $6.98, 7 bucks. It's called Popsies. Oh, okay, so they... Oh, we got stuck. Oh, man, I guess you press this? Okay, kudos. Press button for pop-up message. Interesting. Coming out with all kinds of stuff. So I guess you could probably put other messages, maybe. Tony the Tiger. Pennywise pop. It's pretty random. Batman, they got Bob Ross. You're a masterpiece. Please tell me he says. Happy little trees. Let's check it out. Those hands just, his arms just go down. No message? Just your, your masterpiece. No, man, I want the happy little tree. Yeah, a lot of characters. You're out of this world? Come on, he's supposed to say. To infinity and beyond. That's weak. That's weak, man. Pee Wee Herman? I think. Oh no, it's office. It's uh, Michael. Uh, I forget his last name. Michael Scott. Uh, uh, I could be wrong. I'm blanking out. Don't kill me. Alien. Let me hug your face. <laughs> I like that one. Do you want a balloon? Come on, man. 
I got the wrong quotes. Pennywise should say something about floating. Why am I forgetting the exact words? It's the morning. Forgive me, guys. All right, let's go. All right. Oh, they have the new, uh, any holothon stuff? Check. Nope. No holothon stuff. They do have this wave. Fresh set once again. It's tempting me. Now get away. I don't want to buy y'all. Well, I do. Yeah, they got everybody again. No chase. So I guess someone is just taking chase, or I don't know. Is there a chase? I think there is, right? Yeah, I mean, there was a scarecrow chase in that wave, so it's gotta be. Gosh, it's tempting me every time, but that cell shading is still. I mean, some of them don't have much cell shading, like this one, and it doesn't look that bad. I do like that four pack, you know, with um, Harvey, Batman, Joker, and um, Harley. Uh, kind of, I wish I found that on clearance. I mean, it's hundred bucks, so same price as these, really. No, these are thirty bucks now. I think about it. Yeah, true. Yeah, this comes with a build a figure, so that's why. Extra five for that build a figure piece. Yeah, even Commissioner Gordon, Gordon man. He looks really freaking good. Oh man, am I gonna regret it in the future? Gosh, I wish I was a millionaire, man. Be an easy call. But would I be toy hunting if I was a millionaire? Yes. That's a food for thought, you know? There's probably no toy hunting youtuber that content creator that is a millionaire wolfman yeah casey jones same old all right let's move on all right anything new here still have the surfer boy pizza set i eventually want to get this but not for no 45 dollars Jim Gordon as Batman. Somebody try to open that or doesn't look like anything was taken. See, oh that tombstone. Such a good looking figure. Picked this up last week. We got this set here. Haven't seen him in a while. And the X-Men has pro X-Men here. Godzilla. So that one. Yeah, I guess this it's just easier for Hasbro to distribute these uh, popular Marvel Legends cases to um, like Big Bad Toy Store, Entertainment Earth. So that's why they, they probably don't distribute them at, as much at these retail stores. In my opinion, I could be totally wrong. Same old Rathers, same old Star Wars. One of the most epic characters in Star Wars. I know, I'm in the minority in this, but Cassian Andor, man. Mm. I love this dude. Hate that he doesn't have as much, uh, much of a following. But it is what it is. All right, that does it, my dudes. Let's get out of here. All right, leaving Target. There's Ross over here. I told myself I wasn't gonna stop by any Rosses, could just focus on Walmarts and Targets. But man, I don't know how it is doing toy hunting, and yeah, just gotta gotta check them Rosses. So plus, you know, it shows y'all some content as well. Oh yeah, so I'm gonna stop by a GameStop as well, maybe a couple. Um, looking for the uh, uh, another uh, Arkham uh, Batman figure. Gonna make far in line the new one. So that just came out recently, so hopefully you can find that. Let's go check it out. Hey, 
we got another version of Alex Pereira. <laughs> I love that fighter. Piccolo. It's $14.99. You got Lifeline? $2.99? Dang! I think Caustic was $3.99. This is just a default suit. Yeah, I think it is. Man. Man. $2.99, yeah. Don't tempt me. Save that $3 for that Batman. So I could think of it as like, yeah, I got $3 off. Yeah. Ruto. Got Vegeta. Seen this before. These have been here for quite a while. Got this two pack. This is $24.99. Yeah, very cool set. School bus, $5.99. The cool stuff is usually over here. Let's see what they got. Yeah, a lot of the Mirrorverse stuff. Yeah, that's about it, my dudes. Oh, blue, Mickey. Yeah, let's not waste any time. Let's move on. Oh, they do have Bride of Frankenstein. She's been here for quite a while as well. Oh, they got Bowser. Finally seeing Bowser here. How much is he going for? $16.99. Yeah, great deal. You know, he's got that smoke effect that comes out of his mouth. So, very unique figure. And Barbies. Let's move. Alright, my at a GameStop. They got Dreadnought Ripper. Haven't seen him in a while. Ooh, Jason Shockwave Fairy. Yeah. He's like, yeah. Pretty sure it's isn't, doesn't he show up at Target sometimes? Well, he used to. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Like a SWAT team member. Ralph Nunchuck Ducci. His outfit looks a little basic. I like the helmet, though. That looks cool. Clayton Hawk Abernathy. Looks like a leader. Got the Steel Corpse Trooper, too bad. That's pretty cool. Got these classic TV series, DC figure. I realized I did see that Crypto and Superman 2 pack. Pretty sure I had a GameStop a while back. I decided to pass on it. Axe Wolves, we got Grievous back there. Oh, yes. Morgan. Uh, Sandman. Dog. Oh, no way. Dude. Oh, my gosh. Honestly, I'm sick of buying Great Hulk, but definitely need this one. Man, should have. That's lazy, man. Should have painted the button. Even on Wolverine, man, come on. Hasbro, 60 bucks. I doubt we'll get, oh, 56.99, remember price, and I do have a $5 coupon. Oh. I may have to get that one. We got Two-Face here. That's where we found Killer Croc and Batgirl. They don't have the Arkham Batman, unfortunately, from the looks of it. I think it just came out, so it's probably gonna be difficult to find. Oh, this was a nice surprise. Give me all the Wolverines. Joe, fix it. Yeah, oh, that's heavy, man. Yeah, Wolverine looks great. Great paint apps. Yeah, this is gonna be a tough one to find on clearance. Man, I really. I guess, you know, we can just paint those buttons ourselves and it'll definitely make it look better. I really want to get into painting and making dyes and stuff. I really just need to go for it. Watch a dio uh, video and just buy the materials and just do it. That's my issue, man. I just don't get the engine started sometimes. 
when I do, I, you know, I usually really enjoy whatever I attempt to do. Any of y'all have the same issue? It's been a pretty bad habit my whole life. Not entirely, let's we'll say that. I do get the engine started at times here and there. Don't get me wrong. I got a cow. 80 bucks. Yeah, 60 bucks for this. Like $30 each, not bad, not bad at all. I think about plus with that member member price and then the five dollar discount, very nice. Doing figures. All right, let's move on. All right, I already checked the regular toy aisle and they didn't have Jack, so I'm not gonna show y'all. But look, they have Razar from the Best Action line. Very cool, Invisible Donny. Splinter and a foot ninja back there. A couple foot ninjas. Yeah, I got some of my foot soldiers here from the Secret of Dues, the best TMNT movie, live action movie ever. In my opinion. And let's see, Sam and Twitch. Plenty of those, of course. Oh, they have Toka as well, as well. Dude, these look fantastic. Really like how Toka came out, man. Really nice details. Very nice. What do y'all think? I wonder how much they cost. Are they still twenty bucks. They got Sanji here, so they must have had Zoro as well. Shredder. That's about it, dudes. Yeah, let's not anyway. Let's not waste any more time. Let's roll out. All right, I had to do a voice over here because of a copyright strike. Here we found Steel. He looks awesome. I saw the Chase version a while back, like a month ago, and was not um, impressed. This one looks much better, so, I mean, this is the regular version. And here's Midnighter, Superman, Animal Man, and several Midnighters. <clears throat> that figure actually looks really cool, but I'm not going to pick it up. And here's the Christian Bale Batman figure. Not a fan of that face sculpt. There's a lightness there, but not quite. You know, it's a bit more wide than it should be, in my opinion. <clears throat> and then we got this two-pack here. Bizarro. And I don't even know this other character. Batzaro, I guess. And then, didn't have any Marvel Legends except a Doc Ock. And I think that's about it. Yeah, although, although, yeah, it seems like all the recent Marvel Legends figures have been getting taken pretty quickly. But, um, let's see. Got some Pokemon stuff there. Some Dragon Ball, Naruto. Yeah, it's really nice that they're starting to distribute more figure arts into these Targets and Walmart stores. Very nice. All right, this is actually the third Target I visited today. Um, I actually came here yesterday. Uh, this is the Target where I found the, um, the uh, what wave is that? Swift Riddler, the McFarlane Riddler, uh, Commissioner Gordon, and the two other figures. Um, but they have the same old stuff, but that wave was actually taken. So somebody bought that yesterday or this morning. All right, so I'm going to go to another Target where I actually found the uh, the Prey figure yesterday. So if I find anything new, I'll show you all. If not, then I'm not going to record. All right, let's go. All right, my intuition is telling me that the Marvel Platinum cards, cards have not made it here uh, to Charlotte, North Carolina yet. Just from looking how the shelves look and from uh, my memory from the older a lot, a lot of the Marvel trading cards in the past it seems like they you know show up at a lot of other places first and then here pretty much later like uh, like usual so <laughs> um, who knows I may be wishful thinking but um, yeah hopefully I'm right and Maybe I'll find some next week, or if I find some today, gosh, I'd be so stoked. But I'm not really counting on it, just from the, how the, from my observation from uh, the uh, shelves that I've been seeing today, the cards and stuff. All right, let's go 
we'll hit up this target. I'm going to hit up two more targets. Yeah, so that'll be a total of five today. And going to hit up, let's see, we already visited two Walmarts. I'm going to hit up one more Walmart. And then uh, maybe another GameStop. We shall see. All right, let's go. Yeah, every target I've visited looks exactly like this. A lot of this garbage pale kids trading card set, Blizzard, and Spider-Man. Like, that's why I feel like yeah, those Marvel cards have not showed up here yet. So I'm guessing it's going to be in a certain slot here. I could be wrong though. Could be wrong. Hope I'm right though. Check it out. They do have the business Casey Jones two pack with the split um, foot soldier. Did I, did we see that here yesterday? Dude, they gotta pray. This is where I got it, and the gentleman said that this the one that I got was the only one. I guess maybe this was in another box. That's cool to see. Man, I took this out. Oh, it looks so freaking good. Like, dude, I haven't seen this pack. <laughs> like at every Target. Oh, they got a lead alone. Okay, so they took out. They brought out all the stuff, I guess, this morning. Or last night. Because, yeah, I was here yesterday. Around like 12 o'clock, I think. 12 or 1. The lonely, yo. The late. That's cool to see, man. Let's uh, leave this right here. Just so somebody who's looking for it will come across it and be very happy. All right. And we got a lone Baxter Stockman over here. Yeah, so. Yeah, man. This, All this Holothon, Holothon stuff is getting taken with the quickness. All right. Let's get out of here. All right, my dudes. I decided I'm not going to stop by the other Target and Walmart that I was uh, talking about earlier. Just gonna, yeah, I should just go home and rest. And, um, you know, I found some good stuff already today. Um, and we saw some cool stuff as well. So, I'm gonna save my gas for another long hunt maybe this Sunday um, or next week. So, yeah, I'll see y'all at the toy table. Hey, welcome back Rangers. Welcome. Uh, let's see. I uploaded my first video in like two months and a half the other day and now I'm back at it. Like I never left. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, I'm a little out of it my dudes. That Listeria is kicking my ass, especially my stomach. Let me know in the comments if you ever got the case of Got a case, uh, had a case of Listeria. Uh, never even heard of this um, infection until the other day. And um, yeah, it's not not pleasant at all. Um, it's not as bad as like a cold or a fever. And um, I don't have like a runny nose or anything like that. But I've been first started out with like a major headache. And then mostly I just begin like body aches. And uh, stomach pain so I've been just taking a lot of antibiotics but um yeah I'll keep feeling better I think I, yeah I definitely should have just rested but man I, I've been having that toy hunt fever man um so I had to go out and um it is what it is and I think it's been worth it because we found some cool stuff out there <laughs> ah the life of a collector right <laughs> Anyways, hope y'all been doing well. Let's go ahead and get to this haul. All right, I've got a variety of stuff to show y'all. I actually have an art print that I bought from Bottleneck Gallery. Um, got some figures online, and then I got this Hot Toys figure um, that I received about two months and a half ago. Uh, Pre-ordered ages ago, and it finally came in. Um, and it is of the Days of Future Past Wolverine. And as you can see, the tailoring looks awesome. They did a very good job with that. Love the bone claws. Uh, but the face sculpt, man, for a modern Hot Toys Wolverine figure, this was very disappointing for me. 
and that's just my honest opinion. Uh, I've seen one review of this figure a while back, and the reviewer were just raving about this face sculpt. Said nothing negative about it, and I mean, come on, that yeah, it has the likeness of Hugh Jackman, but not fully, not even close, in my opinion. I mean, it's facts. <laughs> Like, I do believe sometimes, like, I, I feel like every reviewer needs to uh, get an eye test and tell their vision score to everybody. Cause sometimes I wonder, you know, maybe they're just uh, shilling. Is that, I don't know if I'm saying that uh, correctly, but I know that's a pretty popular term now in the toy community, but yeah, people be shilling or, I don't, I don't know if I'm that phrasing that correctly but yeah I just rave about things that just doesn't really add up let me actually go get my other hot toys wolverine figure and let me show you all the difference all right yeah don't get me wrong i'm still very happy to have this figure being a huge wolverine fan but as a content creator i feel like uh, we need to be honest And, yeah, I mean, the features look very great. I mean, wrinkles, the eyes, and everything. But, yeah, it just doesn't have that that full likeness of Hugh Jackman. Here is the older days of Future Past Wolverine figure. And honestly, I think this looks much better, to tell you the truth. But, again, it doesn't have the full likeness of Hugh Jackman. You know, there's certain part certain features that just yeah just doesn't fit but yeah i honestly prefer this one tell you the truth no doubt love this suit but yeah still happy that hot toys made these but i feel like you know this being a 2024 hot toys figure like it should have been almost spot on i think they could have done a better job Especially when you consider like hot, like the Hot Toys Yondu figure and such. <laughs> yeah, let me what do you let me know what y'all think, which one looks better in terms of face sculpts. All right, let's move on. All right, from GameStop, this was a very nice surprise. Totally forgot that these are finally well, these are yeah showing up at GameStops. So yeah, looks great. Really good face sculpts. Of course, you know me. Wolverine being my favorite Marvel character. Don't mind any more Wolverines. Very nice. Let's show fix it. Bam. Alright, let's move on. Alright, here is Steel from the McFarlane line. This figure looks awesome. I was tempted to get the uh, Mayfix version a while back, but yeah. I passed. I figured, you know. Might as well get a cheaper one later. And I'm glad I did. This looks excellent for a $20 figure. I love it. <laughs> Alright, up next. Alright, from the Target app. I bought these three uh, last week when they had that deal. If you made a purchase of over $75, bucks, you get $20 off. So I had to take that advantage. Um, and this one actually is, is going for $26 online. So, yeah. Basically got this for 26, this for 26, 26, bam. So very nice deal. Um, I won't go too long into this because I've already showed you all this in store. Give you all a pretty good look. Yep. This show used to come on all the time when I was a kid. It was a goofy one. Goofy show for sure. There's the baby. Yeah, the first time I saw this set, I was amazed. So, I mean, these face sculpt looks look really good. Absolutely amazing. I don't know why it's fo not focusing as well. But yeah, it's a great looking set. Dracula. Alright, sorry about the glare. It's still light outside but here's that 
that print, the, the poster that I got from Bottleneck Gallery. And it's of the X-Men. Yeah, I've definitely been on the X-Men kick. And this was uh, this is a limited edition to, I uh, forget how much. Uh, I forget the artist's name. I'm sorry. But it looks good. I really don't like the, the location of the X-Men logo. It's kind of weird that they put it there. Wish it was like on top or I wish they didn't even put it on there, honestly. But it is what it is. But yeah. It's a 36 by 24 inch poster. And I got the frame from uh, Michael's. Uh, at Michael, I think it's called like Belmont frame or something like that. Um, at least like once a month or once every couple months, they have a deal where you can buy um buy two or no buy one get two free for about like 15 bucks such a good deal regular price is like i think 40 bucks which is no no no, sorry yeah buy one get two free um and you just gotta make um you gotta buy that full price for like 40 30 to 40 bucks so great deal for sure so each is like like 13 bucks yeah there's the print all right, last and certainly not the least, we have the Bear Blood Feral Predator. Look at this magnificent looking figure. I can't believe I passed it, passed on it the first time. But then again, I haven't been collecting as much Predators um, since the Alpha Predator because, I mean, a lot of them are just, they have the same molds. So to me, every time I see them sometimes, it's like, it's like the same Predator, you know, cosplaying with a different... Uh, costume <laughs> but this actually has better articulation um, I wish I knew this beforehand I don't know if any other the other recent uh, predators do but yeah this definitely does but look at it man the last time they brought out a translucent one I think it was the jungle predator which I do have um, yeah, look at this. It comes with these claws here, the spear, several uh, mandibles, exchangeable mandibles. So you could take out this mouthpiece right here, as you can see. And it comes with the, um, I don't even know what you call it, like a helmet. Y'all know, or if, you're, if you know about predators, you know what I'm talking about. And this thing, this right here, it attaches with a magnet inside it. And there's a, yeah, this is a really cool feature. I didn't have that in any of the other Predator figures that I do have. Of course, it came with these two hooks, so you can put this other little mini spear on there, which looks awesome. But look, look at the blood-looking paint, man. They did such a nice job. Very nice. You know what? Let's do some size comparisons. I'll bring out some, some other Predators from my collection, and we'll take a, a look. All right, here is the Bear Blood Feral Predator next to Alpha Predator. This is Thermal, Ver Thermal Vision Predator. Here we got the Jungle Predator in the um, translucent or in the cloaked mode. And then we have Ahab. Um, and yeah, seeing these uh, close up again, man, these, I, I love, I love this line. Um, I need to pick up some more now that I'm looking at these again. These were one of my favorite lines to collect at one point. Um, until they keep, you know, bringing out the same molds, you know what I'm saying? Um, but, gosh, yeah, these are some sexy looking action figures. Like, But as you can see, um, I did put that little helmet piece. I forget what you would call this. Yeah, I guess it's like a helmet to them. But um, I actually like it. It's not on there but yeah he's taller than everyone i thought uh, the alpha predator is going to be taller but as you can see it's not you know he's just a tad bit taller so but yeah let's take a look at the translucent the difference there here oh, let me get a closer look for y'all there we go that's much better yeah as you can see it's, it's the color is a bit different a translucent color this one looks a little bit more whitish yeah so they used a different yeah hmm 
I know some people have issues where the translucent um, parts like turn a different color over time. I guess it depends on the humidity. I, I'm not sure. I mean, it doesn't get too humid here in North Carolina, so I don't have that issue. It still looks the same to me when I first got it, in my opinion. This is one of my fa man. Look at that face coat. Love it. This this was one of my favorite predators at one point. Until this fella ca came along, Alpha Predator. Gosh, he looks great as well. Look at the details, man. Like for the price point, these predators look are just for the price point. They're very very nice. Comes with a lot of accessories. I mean, look at this weapon. It's such a good job. Really loved. I remember hunting this one down. It was pretty difficult, but then it became pretty abundant. But I think this may be my favorite now. <laughs> it's very unique. It's got that blood paint, the bear blood paint. I just bear your blood. That's awesome, man. Gosh. Yeah, let me know what y'all think. Y'all just love it. I may, I think I'm gonna rewatch this movie pretty soon. Maybe tonight. <laughs> oh man. You know what? Let's okay. I'm gonna get some other figures and put them next to the bear blood feral predator. Be right back. All right, check it out. We got an alien next to uh, the bear blood feral predator. As you can see, the alien is a tad bit taller. And then we have the assassin predator here. He's way taller as he should be based off the movie. Um, <laughs> Might as well call him Twinkle Toes. Uh, he may fall while I'm doing this comparison, so we'll see. And then we have Dutch next to him. Look at the size difference. Oh, I forget the girl's name from uh, Prey. I really hope they bring out a figure of her as well. That'd be great. And then I put a Marvel Legend figure. Wolverine next to them, just so y'all can see the size comparison, as you can see. Yeah, nickel figures tend to be in a, a bigger, like a slightly bigger scale. So, there's that. But yeah, very pleased with this figure. Um, yeah, I really hope they, you know, continue making Predators with different molds, you know? Some short ones, some maybe a little bit more stockier. That's what I would love to see. And then I would really dive back into that rabbit hole. But, um, yeah, I think that does it, my dudes. I really hope y'all enjoyed this uh, video and the hunt uh, haul and such. Um, yeah, sorry, I probably sound a little bit out of it because I am. Um, that listeria has been kicking my butt. But I'm good. I'm going to be fine. So, um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts on this video. Uh, please share whatever you've been hunting or what you picked up lately if you like to. Uh, but yeah, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch y'all next time, alright? Ranger out! Peace!